Hi, everybody. Welcome to our show, Lexi and myself, on the medical breakthroughs. And today is part of your precious immune system. What could be more important in this day and age than your precious immune system? Today's talk is really one of my favorites. It's the history of tissue transplantation and is it began historically with Edward R. Murrow during World War II, during the Blitz of London. He was sitting on the rooftops there in live time and reporting as the bombers came over. Well, to make a long story short, there was a lot of firebombing and a lot of people got exposed to, you know, the fire, okay? And so many people got burned that the British Medical Council had an emergency and got a team from Oxford Medical School to work on skin grafts. That was the beginning of tissue transplantation, or as Alexia just mentioned before we went on, organ transplantation. That was the beginning. And there were donors, uh, very generous to give, you know, a, a, a skin. And no matter how well the surgery was done, the graft was always rejected 100%. No one knew why. Well, today, we know exactly why. And the reason is that the immune system again, okay? The immune system, as you know from previous podcasts, fights the antigen, the protein antigen of viruses, the protein antigen of bacteria, of fungi and moles. But here's the catch. It also will reject the foreign protein of a tissue transplant. Wow. So the protocol was immunosuppression, harsh agents that are able to put down the immune system. And you've heard the terms before, harsh chemicals called chemotherapy, radiation, and that's called radiation therapy. So that was the protocol after the understanding that it's the immune system which paradoxically rejects the transplant which the person needs. Now, just to finish the historical context, to me, this is really fascinating, is one young man from that original Oxford team that worked on the skin grafts in 1940, like so many people, he emigrated to the United States and he wound up becoming the head of the Department of Cell Biology at Southwestern Medical School in Dallas, Texas. And his name was Rupert Billingham, very uh, typical British name, <laughs> Rupert Billingham. And uh, small world, uh, a long time ago, close to 50 years now, I had the honor uh, when I was on the faculty at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston to fly up to Dallas Southwestern Medical School and give a seminar in his department on bone marrow transplantation. And my expertise was why some bone marrow grafts are rejected, the genetics thereof. Now is this is the real takeaway. Everyone said, well, how does that apply to me? That's very interesting history. Well, is the fascinating thing is that the first agent that was tried before chemicals, before radiation for immunosuppression was actually the stress hormone from the outside of the adrenal gland called cortisone. In tissue transplantation, that was the first agent used to suppress the immune response 
such that a graph will take. Cortisone, that sounds familiar, okay? In our previous podcast, we mentioned many times cortisone. What cortisone does is in long-term stress, it suppresses the T cell division of the immune system. Remember T cells from the thymus and all that. Wow. So in this day and age, we all want a real healthy, robust immune system. That's a no brainer, okay? Against all of those different pathogens, including viruses, okay? So the take home today is that please keep stress down to a minimum and keep the cortisone levels down to a minimum to preserve your precious T cell immune system. Because in one of our previous talks, we mentioned that the T cells are called immune surveillance against all these bad guys, even cancer. And what Alexia and I are gonna do, as soon as we finish up the uh, series on the immune system, okay, what we're gonna do is have a whole series on how to relieve stress for the new year, all the different techniques. So please keep your cortisone levels down in the meantime until Alexia and I uh, see you again. Have a beautiful day and we say goodbye. Bye-bye.